Hello guys, welcome to the next video by Project Maker. Recently we have seen a video which was related to this which is a road safety revolution which only focused on two wheelers. So I decided to make another project which focused on four wheelers. The title of this project is Vehicle Surveillance Using Deep Money. In this project we will be simply extracting the number plate from four wheelers. After extracting the number plate we will check that if the vehicle is following our compliances or not. Compliances means simply following all traffic rules, means if the PUC is valid and also insurance is valid or not. Like if PUC has expired or insurance has expired, then directly the message will be sent to the customer and the records of that details will be get saved in police database. So this is the main mission of this project. But I don't have access to the real time police database and I also don't have the customer details. For this project, I will send SMS to myself only and not the vehicle owner. And all the information about PMC and insurance will be extracted from the official RTO website which is this. So this is the RTO vehicle information of India. This website simply provides me API using which I can fetch the number plate details from RTO. After extracting the details of the vehicle, I will check if the PUC and insurance has not expired or not. Or even if the customer has not taken PUC or insurance, I will get notified and accordingly I can send SMS to that person. But in our case, I will send SMS to myself only because I have no right to send SMS to that person just for demonstration purpose. And also I would like to tell you one thing that taking the pictures of vehicle in front of the vehicle owner is illegal. He can also directly raise a complaint against you. So before starting the project, I would like to tell you that to send an SMS to the customer means they indirectly me. I use Aquilo. It is a famous message sending platform where we can send 100 messages per day. But using this RTO vehicle information API, we can simply hit our request only 5 times a month. So these were the two platforms that I use in my project for fetching the vehicle details and simply sending the SMS. Now let's move to the project demo of this project. So this is our destination folder as you can see. Now I will simply open this folder in terminal to run this project. And as you can see the terminal has opened. Now let's activate the version environment. I will simply write a n p r. If you are a regular where you know the command which is this. Now let's enter. And as you can see the virtual environment has become activated. Now I use Streamlit platform to host this project. So the command to run Streamlit project is Streamlit run main.py. So this main.py is the name of this python file in which the code is written. Now let's hit enter and wait for some time so that the website will be get open and as you can see it is running in the local host which is 8501 which is correct also let's wait for some time and this is a basic UI of this project which is vehicle safeguard your wish are watchful eyes and these are the few motors and taglines of this project so we simply provide only one service which is providing the details of the number field so we just have to upload the image here so this image can be uploaded from your mobile also and from the desktop also so let's choose this image i have taken this image from my mobile camera and i want to make you aware one second that don't take any pictures from mobile camera in front of the vehicle owner unless the person knows you very well let's understand the project now so this is the image that i have uploaded from this image the vehicle is cropped which is this part of entire image after that the number plate is extracted and after extracting the number plate this is the results of the text so the actual answer is number plate text so this is ms12ml5086 which is correct also now if I simply click on this fetch vehicle details button it will directly hit the official API of this RTO vehicle information and send me the results and if the vehicle is detected on this vehicle it will simply send an SMS to me so let's hit on this fetch vehicle details button so let's wait for some time. So this is the vehicle and owner information. So registration number is which is a number pet. The owner name is million Mutak. Date of registration, registration valid entity. Violation summary, insurance. So insurance is valid. PUC status not available. So it's a violation and which means that the owner of the car has not taken PUC of this vehicle any time. That's why it's not available. So it's saying that violation is detected sending sms to customer and updating the database and as you can see this is a message sid which is sent and sms is successfully sent 
So the SMS will be sent to myself only and the output of that SMS is in the front of it, which is this. So this type of SMS will be sent to the customer. After that, I want to tell you one thing that this number but extraction accuracy is not 100%. It may vary. That's why I have added here a button which is fetch vehicle details. So this is the one reason. And the second most important reason was that if you directly upload image, it can directly hit this RTO vehicle information API directly. And if the number plate is not extracted with 100% accuracy, it will return us an error and our API key will get wasted. That's why I have added this switch vehicle details button to ensure the number plate is extracted 100% accurately and then only we should proceed. Now let's try a vehicle where the project fails to extract number plate details. So I will simply refresh this. And this is the main page. Now let's upload another image which is this. The accuracy of this text extraction highly depends on the processor of your device. So in my case the accuracy will be 100% but in your case the accuracy might fall down due to runtime accuracy of your system. So this is a crop region and as you can see it is not identifying the number bit correctly. So P has become I here. So if I make it this and N. So this is problem of number bit extraction using basic is used here. After that I will tell you the entire process. So firstly I upload the image. So this is the uploaded image. After that the vehicle get cropped from entire image. So this vehicle cropping is done by Cocosity model which is a lightweight model which provides speed and accuracy to After cropping the vehicle the next step is to crop number from that vehicle. So this is the crop region and I have used Russian number plate model to crop the number plate region from entire vehicle image. And after cropping the number plate details, it will simply fetch details from official RTO website. So this is the information fetch of this vehicle. Now if I click on this fetch detail button, it will simply hit the rapid API once again and it will give me error because I have used 5 times this API. So let's try this one dummy data. In my local version, I have saved the data where everything is clean. So it's dummy data only. So this is the data. So initially it was fetching details from official API of rapid API. Then let's comment this part and I am simply uncomment this part. So the details stored in this dictionary is clean means there is no PUSU violation, no insurance violation. Now, once I clean this rerun project, it will simply do everything for me. And once I click on this fetch vehicle details, it will give me everything clean button. So violation somewhere, insurance violation is valid, PUC is valid and vehicle status. So vehicle status is this vehicle is blacklisted. Which means that the vehicle owner has missed few email of this vehicle due to which the vehicle should be taken from the owner. So due to this, this vehicle's blacklisted is come. Actually, it's not available in the information given by Rapid API. I have made this by my send, which is stored in this blacklisted vehicle. The number of this vehicle is uh, this MS20E7026. So once I open this sheet, and the number is available here only. So let's delete it. And the number is deleted. Now let's save the XA. And let's click on this switch vehicle details button once again. So let's wait for some time. And I will get the vehicle is in compliance with all regulations. Because the insurance is valid, the PUC is valid, also the vehicle is not blacklisted now. So this was the violation summary of our project where insurance is checked, PUC is checked, and also vehicle status is checked. So that's all about this project. If you like this project, then don't forget to share it with your family and friends. And also, if you face any queries or have any doubts, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or in the comment section below. And if you want the source code of this project, then DM me on Instagram for the same. Here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.